The Florida Department of Transportation's Transportation Data and Analytics Office collects, stores, analyzes, and reports multiple transportation data sets, including roadway characteristics and traffic data. The Continuous Traffic Monitoring Program collects data from telemeter traffic monitoring stations. Sites typically collect volume, class, and speed, while others also collect weigh-in motion data. FDOT collects traffic data to submit to the Federal Highway Administration on an annual basis as required by law. The data is also used by multiple department offices, including maintenance, traffic operations, systems planning, and safety. This data is also analyzed by TDA to help answer specific transportation planning questions that arise from functional areas, such as freight and strategic intermodal systems. This data is also invaluable to external customers such as the real estate, outdoor signage, and logistics industries. As the loop is powered, it creates a magnetic field in the loop area. The loop resonates at a constant frequency that the detector monitors. A base frequency is established when there is no vehicle over the loop. When a vehicle moves over the loop, the resonance frequency increases. This sensor is used to determine presence, which is critical for the detection of count, speed, and length at every TTMS site. The piezoelectric effect is the result of pressure applied to an embedded sensor. The charge produced is directly proportional to the amount of weight applied. Each event is interpreted as an axle strike. When the polymer sensor is compressed by a vehicle's tire, an electrical charge is sent to the data recorder for vehicle classification. Court sensors are deployed in weigh-in motion arrays, also known as a WIM. Quartz exhibits more consistent properties of voltage output regardless of temperature fluctuations. This allows for more accurate weight data. In a classification lane, the first inductive loop's electromagnetic field is disrupted when the front of the vehicle is directly over the leading edge of the loop. This initiates the presence detection. The polymer piezo registers the first axle strike and then the second axle strike. The second inductive loop then detects the presence of the same vehicle. The data recorder in the cabinet determines the vehicle's overall length, class, and speed based on timestamps as each sensor registers an event, which are only milliseconds apart. This vehicle is identified as a Class II passenger vehicle. In WIM lanes, the two piezos determine speed, number of axles, axle spacings, weight by axle, and gross weight for each vehicle. The loop provides presence detection and overall vehicle length. For commercial vehicles, the distance between the first axle and second axle, as well as the close spacing of the second and third axles, identifies this as a class six or above. The relatively longer time distance between axles three and four, along with close spacing between axles four and five, establishes this vehicle as a class nine tractor trailer combination. Traffic monitoring stations of the future will incorporate additional sensor types. Increased sensor fusion will allow for additional data to be used for more detailed analysis of traffic behavior. This will allow for more efficient and effective transportation infrastructure investments and maintenance decisions.